I help people build cash flows by investing into Airbnbs. Wow, that's a weird way of saying I contribute directly to the housing crisis. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I made a movie about my friend who started a comedy show in his backyard in Montreal. Today, I'm going to Toronto to film him do comedy at a wedding. I have a list of questions that people have been asking me about this event so you could have a better idea about what's about to go down. Whose wedding is this? How much is Tom being paid to perform comedy at a wedding? How do you get the job? I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. My lower back's been really tight. I forgot you still need a mask today. Thank you. What crazy ass rule. Who is that? Who's that guy? Dude, you're famous, famous comedian. No. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> well, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too. People yeah. kept asking me questions about like, oh, like who's wedding? Like, what are we doing? Like, and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> I'm filming Tom at a yeah. wedding. Man. Yeah. Cause then you don't have to tell people, you're just like, yeah, I don't know man, he didn't tell me anything. I wish I could tell you, but he didn't fucking tell me shit. I'm like, why don't you ask? I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Have you seen Bullet Train? No. With Brad Pitt? No. I'm hoping something like that goes down on this train. Wanna make an easy 200 bucks? Was this like a, like a sex thing? As well, today is the last day for the mask mandate on board on all of your trains. This is the last day. All passengers from Kingston. Yeah, task made it. Fuck. I'm the train since 9 a.m. Now we're in the city of Angels. No, no, that's wrong. That's <laughs> that's not that's incorrect. Angel City? No, no. <laughs> Have you ever seen the CN Tower before? Oh That's taller than pyramids. Okay. <laughs> That's a fun Toronto fact right there. Yeah, it's a fact for sure. <laughs> <laughs>
things have been going okay for me, you know. I'm an aspiring comedian, you know what I mean? It doesn't always go great. My dad came down to visit me in Montreal, came to an apartment, looked around my apartment, and goes, damn, Tom, one day, when you're ready, you're really gonna get your shit together. And I was like, hmm, thanks, Dad. He goes, no, I don't mean to offend. I'm trying to compliment you. I said, try harder, you know? <laughs> thanks, Dad. It's lovely, guys. <laughs> Slower. Slower. <laughs> My fly that usually gets a bigger laugh. <laughs> I wish I wrote more roasts, but that's fine. <laughs> I would like to end the night on a call out, because I've noticed some shit. And the shit that I've noticed is that ladies, you guys are real fucking loud about men's dating app profiles. And how much they suck. And I'm just here to say that you guys also suck at it, okay? Because everybody likes sushi and pizza. For every dumb jock with a picture of a fish on his profile, there's a stupid fucking lady who goes, I love adventures. And I don't like that shit because I don't like liars, okay? Because you don't like adventures. What you like is going for walks, all right? You like going for walks. Don't say adventure, because I'll show up in a cave in a fucking pirate ship, okay? <laughs> you want an adventure? Smoke meth, punch a cop, that's a fucking adventure. <laughs> you already smoked a fucking meth, bro, rock and roll. I don't want to go for a walk down fucking Young Street, okay? I don't want to take pictures of puddles at weird angles. If I had dementia, it'd be a fucking thrill ride, but I don't, right? I play D&D. My adventures have magic and sorcery. Pick up a sword and get the fuck out of my face. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the couple. Kendra and Dan. Thanks for making it through me with that. I'm Tom Murphy. Good night. I love you guys. Bye. Dude, you went from 100 to zero real quick. You know how dismissive I am of things, you know? Yeah. But this is not one to miss. This is a really good cookie. Yes. Don't use that tone of voice with me. All right, wedding's done. We're out. <laughs> you know what that is? Yeah, I don't know. Actually, really good at shit like this. Tom said he booked the hotel before we left, no, but... No, I never said that. Yeah, you did, and now he's just calling them now. That's not what I said. Bonjour, hi, is this the Palmerston? Palmerston. Okay, great. Can I have uh, two rooms tonight, please? One room, two beds. We are fully booked, sir. Hmm, okay. Is there anybody place around you that has rooms? No, I have no idea, sir. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> we made it. We ended up staying at the Ace hotel, which is not a cheap place to stay. But when Tom gets drunk and tired, <laughs> money, money is no object. So yeah, now we gotta train back in like two hours. It's so cool. What? Well, we just came down to Toronto, went in, fucked it up and bailed, you know? <laughs> it is like, cool, we bro. definitely didn't knock it out of the park, but like, as you say, like, people liked it. I definitely got a lot of laughs. Maybe the whole time wasn't great, but like, I started strong, ended strong, like. The coolest part about this trip is that, like a year and a half ago, me and Tom talked about how one day we're gonna get paid to do comedy on the road and we're gonna film it. And we fucking did that, bitch. Whose wedding was that? Uh, Kendra Bolton's and Dan Givon's. Dan Givon. <laughs> they don't know who that is. How do you know those people? My friends from oh. uh, Student Works Painting, which was a right. cult I was in uh, from. How much did you get paid for doing that? Uh, all in 6.30. Um, the only, like, for my actual time, my payment for my time was 100 bucks for 20 minutes of comedy. Um, and the other $530 I charged for travel and accommodation. And that was, keep in mind, like when I was anticipating just me coming down here. And then Dickie was a, a later addition after I realized that I should film this. So, yeah, but 6.30 all in. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, I was fucking lit. Um, that was lit. It was, set was like, 
you know, a strong medium. So basically I wrote, they were like pretty much a group of all my old friends. So I wrote a bunch of roasts centered around student works painting, which was the thing that we all did. Those roasts went over great. The middle of my set, which is really designed for like comedy shows and like a more chill audience was Rocky. <laughs> um, but we got through it. I got a couple laughs. And uh, then I ended strong with the classic adventure joke that everybody loves. So strong start, strong finish. I think people enjoyed it. Definitely rocky. I definitely spiraled last night and tonight. It be <laughs> disaster, but we had a dope hotel room. And we did it. We went on the road and got paid. So fucking A. Let's go. We're the best. We're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose a random one. Okay. Bad night, but it was like we fought a, a we fought a fair battle, but we lost. You know what I mean? You fight a hard battle, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way of saying we had to spend six hundred bucks on a hotel. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs>